Hello and welcome to the online classes for Kids Heaven Public School. So, for my grade 11 students, from your NCRT book of computer science, chapter number 5, getting started with Python, we will check and learn about a subtopic, everything is an object. Yes, it sounds a little odd that everything is an object, but it is very interesting. You see, in Python programming language, every value or data item whether numeric string or other type okay is an object this means that in python programming language when we have a value whether it is a in a b c d whether it is as a number or whether it is as alphanumeric it is completely recognized or treated as an object this means if a has the value of 5 B can also have the value of 5. Okay? The same variable can be assigned different values and different variables can be assigned the same value. A and B are two different variables but the value assigned to both of them is 5. Okay? And this is because Python treats every value or data as an object. Every object in Python is assigned a unique identity, ID which remains the same for the lifetime of that object. Now when we are talking about this objects in Python, it is assigned, it is given a unique name. The way we all have a registration ID, it is only our own unique. The same way an object is assigned an ID and it remains the same for the lifetime of that object, means till we don't completely delete that object. Now the ID is akin, akin means similar. The ID is similar to the memory address of the object. Now you see every value, every variable, every object has a memory address. That is where the value is being stored. Okay? And the function ID returns the identity of an object. Returns means presents or gives an output. So whatever the function ID is, it will return and it will give us the identity of an object. Okay? With an example, you will understand this better. Now look at this example. Num1, that is number 1, is equals to 20. So number 1 is a variable and the value of it is 20. Now the ID of this number is 143920576. This is the identity of number 1. Now we have another variable, number 2, and the value is 30 minus 10. Okay? And the ID of this number 2 is 143924 Now observe and see the identity of number 2 and number 1 are the same. Okay? And why are they the same? Because the object is 20. Why is the object 20? Number 1 has the value of 20. Number 2 is 30 minus 10. 30 minus 10 is equals to 20. Isn't it? So the object value is the same. That is why the identity of number 2 and number 1 are the same. Look at it. Here it is given as 20. Here it is given as 30 minus 10. It is written in different formats but it is the same. So this is what we mean in Python everything is an object. This is a variable. This is a value. And this is the ID number. This is a variable. This is the value. And this is an ID number. They are all referred to as objects because they are the same so look at these points these are the main points about everything is an object okay this is very important python treats every value or data item whether numeric that is numbers string that is alphabets or other type for example alphanumeric as an object okay this is what is the main part of everything is an object make sure you understand this very well 